Okay, I'm gonna start this vlog up. I just set up a target right here. And uh, I'm gonna show you the gun I'm shooting. I think you're gonna like this. If you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please do so. And make sure and leave any questions or comments. This vlog is kind of raw, it's behind the scenes, and uh, most of the time it's just me shooting. So anyway, uh, subscribe, would you? All right, feast your eyes on this dude. Let me show it to you. It's a 50 cal pistol, Smith & Weston revolver. Got it topped off with a little core scope, my sight mark. And that right there, right there is a 350 grain projectile. I'm gonna get my eyes on and ears on and then load this bad boy. Check this out. This is an unbelievably powerful handgun. I'm gonna show you right now. Hopefully now this thing ought to be on target. Last time I shot it, uh, it was on. And so uh, I've got a target set up at 30 yards. And I'm gonna take a shot and see if it's still on. If it's still on, good. I'm gonna head on a hog hunt here soon and I'm gonna be using this bad boy. Uh, if it's not on, I'm gonna make some adjustments and get it on. Uh, I wanna be able to be on target at about 30 yards. That's all I wanna do. 30 yards so let's see what happens okay you see I got the shooting rest up here okay that's real important because I am not a very steady hand with a pistol I don't know if y'all ever saw that movie Blazing Saddles or not but uh, anyway if you have uh, you know what I'm talking about if you haven't you probably ought to watch Blazing Saddles as people say what kind of movies do you like well I like all kinds of movies but probably my favorite movie of all time is Blazing Saddle. And the reason why? Because it offends everybody. All right, let's go ahead and take a shot. See what happens. I'm going to, of course, I'm going to be shooting this big 50 cal Smith & Wesson, but uh, I got a guy joining me. He's going to be uh, introduced to air guns for the very first time. Actually, big boy air guns for the very first time. So, you know, it ought to be fun. All right, so we are uh, pulling into the ranch where we're going to be doing pig hunting. And this is typically what happens when we do this. That beeping is... The ejection seat, Johnny's going to be ejected. <gasps> but, uh, you no, know, before we get to a place, he's always grabbing the camera so we make sure to get the shot of driving in. Okay, so I'm sitting in the river bottom, and look what shows up. I hate turkeys. I know everybody else goes, I hate turkeys. Yeah, they eat the corn. So I'm fixing to spook them away. They're real smart turkeys down here. Hey, get out of here. Get out of here. Get, get, get. 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 There they go. All right, so that's how you get rid of turkeys. I thought maybe it was just to uh, get a shotgun in your hand and have a turkey haul and then the turkeys would leave. But seriously, I don't care too much for turkeys. I'm here to kill a hog with my pistol. So here they come again. Hey, get out of here. Get, get. God, I'm ready to get it now. Get it, turkeys. Scared turkeys. I don't know how else to do it. Except get out and scare them off. So I'm back in the same blind I was in last night. I know it's dark outside. I'm going to show you what's happened. I mean, this is absolutely amazing. Damn turkey. 
Alright, so on this part of the vlog, hopefully the hog killing is going to be a little bit better. Um, just outside of Conroe, Texas. And I got uh, Johnny just opened the gate. And let me get my phone out of the truck here and show you. Anyway, I got some pretty girls behind me, and one of them's going to show me how to hopefully throw a spear. Alright, so Billy, where'd you go? There's hi. Billy. Say hi, Billy. Okay, I'll so this, that's Billy Reeves, and the spears are back there behind Billy. You see them on the fence right there. The, that's what we're going to be using. I'm going to introduce you to these girls. Get over here. Who we got first? Turn around here and tell everybody who you are. Hey! This is Sydney Wells right here. Hi, guys. She, she came all the way from Illinois to teach me how to spear a pig. Yes, we're going to do that, too, today. He's going to learn today, and then he's going to spear one. Yep, I'm going to do it. And then the camera girl right there, Anna, say hi. Hi. And she's going to be here documenting it all for their show. And Johnny is here documenting it for our show. So that's going to be the stand I'm fixing to practice in. Yeah. What are you doing, Johnny? Just getting this set up so it's ready to go. Oh. <laughs> I'm just getting this set up so it's ready to go. It's about to go on a spear. All right, I'm up in a tree about 12 feet off the ground. And I got two spears over my shoulder here. You see the blue handles on them. I've got a spear laying down in front of me. Um, I am literally, I'm in a ladder stand overlooking the bait. And uh, Johnny on the other hand is about 40 yards away on the ground with another camera. So we're gonna to try to capture this and who knows, we're gonna see if I can get lucky. I know I'll see the pigs. I just don't know if I'll be able to stick one or not. All right, well, looky what we got here. A dead pig. Huh? But that dead pig didn't die because he was stabbed with a, with a spear. <laughs> I shot it with an arrow. Imagine that. Anyway. What do you think, Billy? Good job, man. He went a long ways. Went a long, long, long ways. Way. Seriously, I'm going to show you this shot. You tell me, I mean, this thing, how far do you think it went? Five, six hundred yards? Yeah, at least. Five, I'm going to show you this shot. You're not going to believe it. Look at that. Didn't hit it real good, but there is a big old hole in it right there. And I mean, there is blood all over the ground. And we followed a blood trail the whole way. Good morning. Let me show you what Johnny's doing right now with Billy. Okay, so we're we're getting ready right here. Johnny is taping the GoPro on the end of the spear. Getting the hang of it. And Millie's sitting here making sure he does it right. We and yeah. all right, so I've been coming over here for a long time. One of the coolest things. I'm gonna show you that. I mean, I really think this is kind of cool. Y'all may not think it's cool, but I think it's pretty damn cool. Um, let me turn this thing around. I'm gonna I'm gonna just show you this machete here, hold on. First off, we got a big tree right here and there's a machete handle right there. It used to be that the other end of the machete was coming out this side of the tree. I wonder if it's still there or not. Ah, uh, it's not. Crap, the tree has grown that much. But let me come around on, on this side and show you. I mean, somebody years ago Stuck that machete in the tree right there and the tree grew around it. How's that for kind of cool? So sometimes it's just the little things that you can see when you go to a place that kind of make it kind of cool to come back. So anyway, I'm gonna go get in the tree right now and see if I can spear a hog. Last night killed one with an air gun, but uh, that's pretty easy, but killing one with a spear ain't easy. Now, I'm going to show you the setup here. So I got a GoPro here, which overlooks, and you'd be wondering, what is that thing right there? 
that right there is a light that is going to shine down on that corn at night. And then something else I got here. I got it me a... I'm good, Billy. Thank you, bud. Thank you. And I got an air gun right here. This is the Avenger. Okay. And then I got my two spears right here. And I got a whole bunch of water. And then Johnny's over there in the Hobbit line, I call him. Look at that. Wave, Johnny. Wave. There you go. Hey, Johnny, he's in the Hobbit line. And the pigs are somewhere out here. Somewhere. Hopefully, we'll get one in and can stab him. There you see it first. Okay, you see that right there? A dead pig, and you got two spears right here. Well, I shot that pig with the air rifle and missed with the spears. All right, so tonight I uh, got up in the tree, took my spears. I missed three times. But I grabbed my trusty little air rifle, 25 caliber Avenger, and I shot this pig right there, and he dropped right here. When you shoot them like that, even with a little 25 caliber air rifle, they don't go far. So anyway, that's pretty cool. We got that done, and now we're going to go out and see if we can take the dragon claw and stab another one. All right, so the other day I wound up, I got a, a, a message on Facebook Messenger from somebody. I can't remember her name. Anyway, it doesn't matter. She was a... Uh, she told me that uh, taxidermists were nothing but morticians for animals, and she called me sick and disgusting. So, anyway, uh, to each his own, but I like doing this a lot. Look at this. I went on a stroll tonight, and uh, of course, take my big boy air rifle and shot a really nice little sow right here, about a 130 pounder. And, I mean, anyway, the cool thing is, uh, Somebody will ask me, well, you know, how far can you shoot that dragon claw? Well, one day I'm gonna, I'm, I'm literally, I'm gonna sit there and see how far the arrow will shoot at it. And I don't have any idea, 400 yards probably, maybe further. But uh, this pig right here was 64 yards. And got a clean pass through it. If it wasn't for the thermal stuff, there's no way this would have been successful. So anyway, I can't remember that lady's name. But, taxidermists are morticians for animals? What do you think? Never heard that saying before. Okay, let's get this guy taken care of. We're eating breakfast here, and there's Tim, Blueberry Wells, right there. And if you don't want to know what the Blueberry Wells is all about, you got to message me, and I'll, I'll, I'll tell you. And then, of course, we got George and Johnny, and... And Billy, right here, and so it was raining outside, and this uh, this hunt for us is officially over. We're uh, we're heading home.